Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. I have here a diorama piece from World Peacekeepers. I have no idea which one this is called. Base, house, outpost, bank, who knows? Because um, it came loose. Um, it looks quite nice. Okay, so let's have a quick look. It's for 118 scale. You see they've put in some colouring in the actual plastic uh, injection moulding. I assume it's injection molding, but it looks quite nice. It gives it an almost weathered feel, um, but there's no actual paintwork. It's brown plastic, grey plastic, and that's just put inside with the um, molding process. Now, if you paint this up, you could paint these pillars differently. Doors could be done properly. That look really nice. The uh, tiling can be done separately, really nice. Maybe you want to put a little gutter and drainage coming in there. It look really cool. So let's have a look at the features. On the front, windows, stuck. Doors, they do open, which is pretty cool. And that's all you can see on the front. On the top, uh, let's go to the side, you can see in. You see that we have a staircase on this side and a ladder. We look here. So there's a staircase coming up to the ladder. But this doesn't actually connect. To the rest, you have to sort of walk around, which is a bit unusual, but you know, it's okay still, unless you want to walk through here with your figure. And there's nothing else in the bottom, which is a real shame. You can add stuff there to make it look a bit more atmospheric, but it's still a very nice play piece or diorama piece. Uh, if you go to Facebook to Awesome Action Toys, the group there, I've got a picture of some all sorts of different range of 118 figures and one uh, 112 Marvel Legends bath sort of pose around it. You see what it looks like a figure, so this is a pretty good skill. Uh, the ladder goes up to a hatch, and the hatch does open. It's a little bit stiff, but it will swing open like that. I do like this a lot, but it's going to take quite a bit of time and love and attention to really sort of paint this up well and make it nice. Particularly there's so many flat surfaces, you won't really get the effect you want. It might be better to just glue down some sort of uh, like sticky back uh, wood effects, like a wood flooring, but then the grain might be too big for the scale of action figure we're going to use. But there are options you can use, maybe some sort of a uh, tiling option you can do as well. It will look quite nice. Now, if you want to take it apart, there are hundreds of screws and screw holes all over this, but I wouldn't recommend it. It'll take a long time to do that and a long time to put it back together, but for traveling purposes, it's something I may consider, but that will fit in a suitcase, just that you don't want to risk breaking it. Okay, I'll put it that way. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys, and I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to the more Awesome Action Toys videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the notification icon to stay up to date, latest uploads, videos, information, etc. Okay? Bye-bye.